Good morning, boys and girls. It is so good to have you here today for our art project. We've had some great times with summertime fun, and this will be our last project. Hopefully in the future we might have a few more. We'll just have to wait and see. You know, we this whole last two months, we've been taking our projects from Genesis 1. We have learned that Jesus has created, God has created everything in this universe. Everything. And you know what the most important thing he created was? He created us. He created you and he created me. Every person on this earth he has created. And he created us in his image. Can you believe that? In his image, he created us because he loved us so much and he wanted us to be a part of his life. I think that is pretty cool. And y'all remember the Bible verse that we have been learning all this month? Let's say it together. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalms 1, 39, 14. I love that verse. And I want you to remember that you are created in his image. So, what we're going to do today is make our portraits, portraits that Jesus has created in us. And my inspiration, not only did it come from the Bible in Genesis 1, but also it came from a book that I had found a while back called, We Are All Works of Art. And yes, we are. We are all special and we are all different. And on Monday, I read this book, and I had gone to the museum to read the book and showed you different uh, portraits that were in the gallery. And I hope you will go back and look, read uh, with your parents and watch that video of the story. It is really a good story. Some other books I have are that you might be interested in is The Color of Us. It's about a book about all different types of people and different colors and uh, different nationalities and um, just it's a, just a wonderful book and I think if you take the time to go check it out or read it at the library and you might could go online on YouTube and it might be there too so that you can be read to with that book. Another book that I love and I think it's my favorite and it's a pretty big book it is called what I like about me. It's about different children saying what they like the best about themselves. And on Friday, I'll be reading this book and I hope you will uh, join me for that book. You will really like it also. So, let's get started. One of the things I want you to do on this video, down at the bottom, you will see where you can download or open up this sheet right here, and it's called Mixed Media Portraits, and it is your, which is the list of the things that you're gonna need. In this, you're gonna also find how to mix skin tones, some detailed information on how to mix uh, your skin tones. It will also have a template that you are going to either cut out to be traced on your paper, or either uh, out, um, trace up under your paper, and um, you'll have those two things. Oh, and the color chart. And I did a little color chart for you, and I don't know if you can understand it too much, but it's like for uh, to get started to make your brown, you're gonna need orange, where you would mix a, 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 three, uh, squirts of yellow and maybe one or two squirts of red you're going to want to get a really nice rich orange and from there it tells you what to do you'll be adding a little blue to make that dark brown and from there you'll add white to get your different shades and then if you have a light skin you'll start with white and add the dark brown to those colors to get your um, skin done so we'll have that too so I think that will be very helpful for you and uh, let me show you what's on our list of things you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need your skin tones that you have already made up. You're going to need several size brushes. I'll have um, a big flat brush, a big round brush, 
a thin brush, and if you can find a, a thinner brush than in this than your in your um, pack of brushes that you had bought when you first started an art project, do that because you're gonna need those maybe to outline some certain areas on your face or maybe your eyes, so think about that. Or just another small one like that. So you're gonna need a variety of brushes to use. You're gonna need a pencil, you're gonna need a black or brown crayon. I suggest the brown, it will work a lot better, but if you don't have brown, just use a black. I've even got a navy blue in here, just in case. You're going to need your eight, I mean 12 by um, seven, uh, 12 by 18 sulfite paper. We're gonna use the whole sheet today. You are gonna need, like I said, your template. You're gonna either cut your template out like this, then you're going to need, like we said, our skin tones. We've got our crayons. And then you might want to, if you want to, you might want to, if you have yarn at home, you might want to take yarn and use that to make your hair. See right here where I use the yarn to make the hair right here? That would be very helpful. I will say that it's kind of hard to do that. And I found out using the temper paints helped a lot better with my hair, but you're definitely welcome to use the yarns and different colors of yarns to do your hair if you like, or any other like this. On this one, I use the yarn to make a little necklace for, for this guy here. You also want some embellishments if you like. This is what you can use, like little hearts that you can glue on, maybe to make a necklace, or you might want to add some flowers maybe to uh, add to your hair, just like that. It's probably hard to see that, but that's an idea. Uh, you uh, will want to, to glue those on. You're gonna be wanting some glue mixed with a little water and use your paintbrush to glue on the, uh, the embellishments. Something I think is gonna be real important, you're gonna want a, to use a mirror. Or if you have a close-up picture of your face, that would be good too. Because when you get ready to start your portrait, you want to kind of look at how your eyes look and your mouth is shaped or your nose or how your hair is coming over to the side. Or maybe you wear glasses. You want to have, be able to look at yourself in the mirror and kind of help you decide how you want to make your face. And it, the best thing about it, when you're making your own portrait, I have found that it, it's almost natural to do your own self. When I was in college, I had to do a sculpture of our face and we didn't have anything to look at, but when I finished, it resembled, resembled me pretty good. And I thought that was kind of interesting that we could sculpt something and it'd be so much of what we really looked like without looking at ourselves. So don't worry about that. Um, let's see what else we're gonna need. I think that is it. So, oh. You might want to pick, uh, go ahead and pick out the color. If you have whatever shirt you're gonna use, you might wanna pick a, a color for blue or yellow red to make stripes or gray and blue. You want to think about what color shirt you're gonna want. You might want purple or yellow or green, whatever those colors are. You also want a, a, a black for outlining some certain things. Uh, you might want to have some red. Maybe if you wanna paint red lips, you might wanna do that. Um, I think, and you're gonna want scissors. You're gonna want scissors to cut out your um, template. Just like that, you wanna be able to use it to cut out your template. So, I think we are ready to get started. So, I'll we'll see you in just a second. Today, I have Joy and I have Zoe who are gonna help me show you how to do our art project. You know that in your handout you received at the bottom of the video that you could pull up, it talked about our skin tones. But I thought I'd give you just an example of what that would be like. And if you can see real close, this is my chart. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna add, you're gonna do like three parts yellow and a little white into that yellow so it'll be more creamy. Then you're gonna add about one part red and you're gonna mix it really, really good until you get a really pretty orange. Now you don't want a yellow orange or a deep red orange. You want the perfect orange. So work really hard and make sure you blend that yellow 
and that red really good together. There's no yellow showing or no red showing, so just mix it really good. Now we have our perfect orange, and this orange is gonna help us make a deep, dark brown. So what we're gonna do first is take a dollop just a little bit of blue and add it to your orange and you're going to stir 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 really good until you get the dark brown and if it's not dark enough you might want to add a little bit more blue to get your dark brown and here's a dark brown that i've already made up and see how dark that is that's pretty dark but that's what you need to make your skin tones now from there You've got this color, then you're gonna start adding white to each of your colors to get the skin tone. So here, I would add some white, and I would stir it again until I got the color I wanted. It might be a, like a medium brown, or I might add some more white to get a lighter brown, and then even a lighter brown if I needed it. Now, if I was fair skin like me, I would start with white, and add a little bit of this dark brown to that and stir around till I get to the point where I find my color that matches my skin tone. So we've got that. Now, I have already mixed to get together some colors that might or might not match Zoe's and uh, Joy's skin color and mine. So this is how you're gonna test it once you made your color out and as you go from white to white. Um, so let's start with this dark brown, guys. Put your little brush in here. All right, there you go, just a little bit and you do a lot like here. And then take it and just put it on your arm, on your hand, and now do this, just like that. Now that's just too dark for me, isn't it? What about you? Is that too dark for you too? Let's show everybody. Yeah, show it, uh, Zoe, to the camera. And see, that's just too dark for her. So what she, they would do would add more white. I realize now I'm gonna have to start with white and go up to get my color. So we're gonna test some other colors. Okay, Joy, put your brush in here. Let's get a paper towel and just we can just wipe that off. I tell you what, just do this. It's not gonna hurt, just do that, okay? You got that, just go ahead and wipe your brush out. Okay, now let's go to this color and see if it matches. Go ahead and leave that color on your arm and go to the next color. It's around it back. Yeah, go ahead, let's see what color we get. Now that is pretty close to your color. Show everybody. See, that's this is the second one. I don't know if you can see it really good, Let's see if we can get a close up of that. I think that is pretty close, but we'll try the next color just in case. Yeah. Zoe, it, go ahead and put your brush in this color and see what color you come up with. And it lightens up. It pretty, does light. It lightens when it right, dries. Now show the camera what it looks like. And see hers? That's pretty, it's pretty good right there. Now we're gonna go one more color just to make sure you've got the right skin color, okay? So dip yours in here. Yeah. I think the dark brown is more of my skin Okay, tone. all right, this one right here or this one right here? This one. Okay, all right. Dark. Zoe, let's look at yours. Okay, what do you think about that? Mm. All right, let's show everybody. The minimum, okay. So we've got our skin tones. Uh, Joy mm -hmm. believes this is her favorite skin tone, and uh, Zoe thinks this is hers. Now mine, I'm gonna have to go to a lighter color because I've added blue to this. And, well, that's too light. But let me go to the next one and see. That's more like my skin tone right there. So I'm gonna use this one. It'll dry lighter, so that's, it may dry like your that's skin. That's right. Now let's draw our portrait. Before we get ready to draw, what you wanna do is either cut out your template that was provided, or you, you can also trace it. Now, if you're gonna uh, outline your portrait, I want, it's very important that you see the, on your template, you have the little crosses right here. That's where your eyes are gonna go. So what I want you to do is 
right. Let's like, see how I'm bending that right there. From here to here, I'm just gonna do a little cut, a little snip. Over here, I'm gonna do a little snip. Just like that. And then I'm going to fold it over here a little bit and do a little snip here. Just a, not a lot, not a whole, you know, not a big cut, just a little snippet, just like that. Go over here. So I'm gonna put my finger in there like that. Just kind of open it up. But you still want to make sure you get the center. So when I trace it, then I'm gonna put my little dot right here and my little dot right here. And then you'll see where the eyes go. So let's do that now. I'm gonna let, uh, Zoe is gonna do an outline and Joy is gonna do a trace so she can show you how to trace. You're gonna take your brown crayon. Now I'm gonna use a black crayon just so that you can see it on the video. So what you're gonna do before you start even thinking about tracing or outlining, you gotta decide where your head is gonna go. Now, if you have a big hand like me, I'm gonna put my hand about right here, and I'm gonna put my head about right there. See the distance? If you put it at the very end, it's gonna look like your head's falling off the page. So you wanna make sure you have it high enough here. And if you have little hands, you might want to do you go know, double it up right here. So this gives you enough space down here and some space up here. Because you don't want to do it way up here either, or way over here, or way over here, center of the page, and go up. Because while we're doing that, it's because in a little bit we're going to make shoulders right, like this so we can draw our shirts or our blouses. Now, Zoe, I want you to do an outline, and you're going to place it about right here, okay? And uh, uh, Joy, you're going to put yours up under here and see that line? Can you see it good enough to trace? Now you can't see it. It's hard, but you can do it. And let's make sure it's even. It's both sides you have it. That looks good. Joy, I mean Zoe, I'm going to move yours over a little bit to give it, um, to give it, make it more even on the pages. All right. Now. Take your brown color. Everybody got your brown color? Now trace and outline. Now don't forget, when you finish outlining, you wanna put your dots on your eyes, okay? Okay, and you with the tracing, uh, Joy, can you see it well enough to put your little cross right there? Okay, let me see y'all do that. Go ahead. And some of y'all might want to take Put some tape underneath to hold it while you trace so it won't move and that's okay too that'll probably help you i like the way uh, so way you're doing it just a little bit at a, a time that will help keep it straight the way you're holding it is a great idea very good kids can probably do that very easily. Just 
very good. Get your ear. Both of you have done a great job doing this. Okay, now let's look, find your eyes and just put little dots right where you see the cross. A little bit bigger than that so you can see it later. Okay, and over here is one. Do that. You have a heart, but you can do it. There you go. All right, we've got it. That looks great. Now what we're going to do is do our shoulders. Before we get to the face and all the facial features, we're going to do the, the shoulders. Now, most shoulders do not go all the way out to the side. They kind of tend to go out some and then down. So watch what I do, and then uh, I want y'all to do it after me, okay? So we'll start about right here. And I'm using black so that you can see it. So I'm gonna take my crayon. I hope you're using, you can use any color you want, but brown is probably really good. But let's, I'm gonna do black. So I'm gonna come here. And go down and I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna go down just like that. See how I did that? And I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. I'm gonna come out some, just like that, and then go down. And this is where my shirt will be, right here. <laughs> Very good, that's great. Perfect. Now, Let's go to our eyes, and it's important that you watch how I do the eyes. We're going to do a rainbow line on top, here, and then we're going to do a smiley face underneath. So watch what I do. I'm going to start here, and I'm going to do, and to kind of judge how big you want your eye, you want to kind of look at your thumb and see how that looks, and that kind of gives you an idea how big, how wide you want to do it. Now, remember some of your eyes will be a little wider than others and some might slant up a little bit. So think about that. So I'm gonna come back right here and I'm gonna go a rainbow around. I'm gonna come over here. I'm just gonna kind of judge it, eyeball it. Start about here and do a rainbow. Very good, very good. I like Joy, she's doing the dot system. So let's do the bottom half. Remember, it's gonna be a smiley face and I'm gonna show you how um, Joy did it. She put a dot right here and then she put another dot right here and then she drew the smiley face. So let me do that, the smiley face. And since this is here and here, I'm then gonna do a smiley face. Just like that. Now it's looking kind of weird right now, isn't it? With no hair, and just the eyes and the cross. I think that's pretty cool. Now we're going to do a nose. And the nose is up, down, seven. So I'm gonna do my nose. I'm gonna start about right between the eyes. And I'm gonna come down. And I'm gonna turn. And I'm just gonna do a look to look right there for my nose just to make it fun, but you don't have to. So just do a seven, up, down, upside down seven. Now we're gonna do the mouth. Right now we're just gonna do a line, just, and it's just a light line, just like this. That just kind of positions where our mouth is gonna go. Now some people, because you might wanna put a smile on your face or something like that, but that's where we're gonna keep that right now. Now, we are going to do the hair. The last One of the last things we're going to do is the hair. But one more thing I want to do here. I want to put my eyeball, okay? And it's a, let me show you how to do it now. You can just take it and just do just like that. You want some white on each side. Very good. That looks really good. Now, Guess what time it is? It's time to paint. We got, we're going to paint now, okay? You ready to paint? You're going to take the color tone that you mixed up for yourself. Let's open that up. Now, a couple of things that when we get ready to paint, I want you to think about. We want to make sure we go up, we want to leave that white there. 
So we're gonna go up under the eyes and over the eyes and keep close to the edge here. And then we come to the neck, we're gonna do the neck and stop. So sh let me show you. Now, you can use a round brush like this, or you can use a flat brush like this, whichever feels comfortable for you to do. I'm gonna probably start with my flat brush because I can move that paint easier. And I suggest you don't put a lot of paint on your paper because in a minute we're gonna stop and let that dry. And if you get it too wet, it might just be take you too long to dry. So let's be sure we don't puddle up our paint. Let's be real careful with that. So I'm gonna take my flat. Girls, if you'll take your flat, you've got your skin tones. So let's get started. Watch my, as I, you can start in just a minute, but just kind of watch how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go up under my eye, just like this. I don't, you can in it a little bit, that's fine. And I'm going to go up over it, just like this. Just be real care, careful as you can, just like that. And if you go, when you go over your nose, that's okay. It's going, now your brain won't show up as much as mine. Uh, because I used black as I did it so y'all could see it on film, okay? So go here, go under here, just like that, and go over. And then once I do that, I'm going to go very careful. I'm going to kind of smooth that out. Then I got a little extra paint. I'll just smooth that out. And then I'll we'll start tracing my around my ear and my face. And y'all can start doing y'all's now, okay? Y'all can do yours while I do mine. And one thing about painting your head is kind of keep the you know, heads around instead of going back and forth when you're painting. Go in uh, this is a little circle, I mean, you will have circles like this, and that will kind of help too. You just do your face first, then we can go to your neck. Go right over my mouth. And you go over your mouth and it covers it up. That's okay. We can find it again. In my ear. See how I'm going back and forth like that. Then I'm going to go to my neck. I'll do the same thing. Outline it. And you know necks, you know when you do your neck, they are, you know, they're like half circles. Just like that. Kind of looks. And it's better than going straight across or up and down. It just kind of gives it. Earlier, you don't have to worry about that because we can find that nose again, okay? And remember, yeah, after you're out, just make long, beautiful strokes after you go around everything, okay? Make sure you don't use too much paint. Okay. <laughs> and what I like to do is do a little extra paint on the sides and look, because it's going to dry out a little darker. So that it kind of give you an outline of where more of a highlight for where everything is. Now that looks good. You're finished, so we can take care of that. You're finished with yours. That looks great. I suggest um, right here where the chin is, take a little bit of extra of your paint and just outline your chin, just so it gives a dimension from your chin away from your neck, okay? Just like that. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's take our... Um, our um, skin tones and let's put those away and let's pick up what we're going to use for our, um, our, our, our uh, shirts or blouses. I think it's important that we do this now that you outline your shirt first and then color in, okay? So I'm going to outline my shirt just like that. Ooh, that turned out to be a beautiful color. 
and then we'll come over here, that line here, that line over here. And of course you've got your cover of your um your paint, you've got your cover of your um you got your cover on your table so you won't get paint on the table so I'll just make sure you go off the edges to color everything, okay? Let's do that. Okay, y'all can start painting your shirt. And I like because you know bodies are round, you want to go up with a, like a smiley face type paint, just like that. Left to right with a little dip. It's like big smiley faces to keep it looking like it's um, just like that. If for some reason you forgot to put a protective covering on your table while you're painting, I ta I'm taking a paper towel and I'm putting it right up under here because I want to go past this line right here. So, go right off the line. So that way I go right off the line. And I'm going to finish up going back and forth. Make sure that you're making sure you're spreading your paint out and you're not having a bunch of globs. Because it will take forever for it to dry if you leave big globs. So I'm going to go over here. See how I went off the lines? So that's why you want to put some protective covering on your table when you paint. Just like that. Because you know we're only using yellow, blue, and red to make colors. We're making all these colors we're doing today, and we've done all the past. Just with those three colors, we're able to mix all kinds of colors using some black and using white, especially white. So go back to our first video and you'll get instructions there on how to mix colors if you haven't done that so far. Some of you may just be joining us, so you'll want to do that. Great job, girls. Beautiful. All right, now what we're gonna do is add the background. We do this, 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 this is a chance to dry a little bit more. And also this, you might want to put polka dots and stripes on your shirt, but you need it to dry just a little bit. If not, the paints will run together. So that's why we're gonna leave this for now and do a background. Now, remember the watercolor that you made a while back? You can use that. And because you did your uh, crayon resist, it will keep the water from going into your crayon, which is great. But if not, you can paint. So you have a choice to use watercolor or your temper paints. But remember to don't make it so soft, soupy, because it'll take forever to dry. We want this to dry, so if we want to add some detail to our background, we can. It all depends on what you want to do. So I'm going to use this in the blue. With, and I'm going to share it with uh, Joy. And it's important that you outline around your face and neck and shoulders. It's looking pretty scary right now, isn't it? But it's going to be beautiful when we finish. So we're going to outline. And I'm just doing a light. I'm going to do just a very light stripe, I mean a, a coating of it. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to go around. Just like this around the ear 
And so using the flat brush, you can make it skinny. And then we can make it flat to go around this part. filling in the blank space. Now, you might not want to do a background. You might just want to leave it white, or that's okay too. Or you might want to leave it white and just put some polka dots up there. Just whatever you want to do will be fun. So I'm gonna finish outlining mine, y'all do y'all's, and we'll, be, we'll get back to the next step of our project. shirts to keep your protect your clothes. If you're using the temper paints, they will wash out, but I just rather keep my clothes uh, fresh by wearing a apron. Mine, and I like the way I left the spaces. If 
might not like that. That's okay. You could do watercolors. That would be good too. And when I finish my paint, I'm going to wash my brush out. Once we finish this, if you want to add some detail to your shirt, you can just pick out a color, another color you might. You might want to do a circle, or you might want to add stripes. If not, just leave it just the way it is. But you want to make sure you dry your Clean your brush and dry off really, really good. What happens if your brush falls apart? That means I got it too wet too many times. So what I'm going to do later, I'm going to take glue and stick it back in here. It'll be just like new. You don't have to go buy a new brush. And if you splatter, it's going to get on their artwork. Be careful about for the person you're next to cleaning, so you won't mess up their paint. And you can go up and down, cross, sideways, X's, whatever you want to make your background. It'll be beautiful. Some of you may be wondering where I am getting these art projects. I have been using a, a series called Deep Space Park Sparkle, and you can go online and type in deepspacesparkle.com and in that site you can get some beautiful ideas to do artwork. They have a lot of free lessons. I'm a member of that club and I pay I think 40 or 40 or so dollars a month to be a to be able to use that but it gives me so many art projects and it gives you details on how to do the art it also has videos on how to show you how to do the artwork. It's for teachers. It's for parents who are teaching their kids at home. It is a um, wonderful site. They also have lessons on how to set up a classroom or it has how to set up your home for an art area, especially if you're homeschooling. They have a whole series on homeschooling for parents who want to help their children learn art. They also have, um, they're now started because a lot of the teachers in school are having to do, put their artwork on carts, even have a series of painting, um, taking all their artwork from room to room and on a cart and traveling around with that. They've just got some great information that you would probably love if you're interested. But I have just been using, all the projects we have done has come from Deep Space Sparkle. And it's just a wonderful site, and if you get a chance, especially your moms that are um, dads or grandmas or granddaddies that have to teach children at home, it's a great site for homeschooling. So I hope you'll take time to look at that site. Now that our shirt is dry, let's go ahead. If you want, you can leave your shirt plain, or you might want to add some dots or some stripes, whatever you want to do. I'm going to show you a couple ways to do that. Uh, we've already cleaned our brushes and I'm going to use, you can use this one or this one or even a smaller brush to do stripes or dots. But I'm going to show you how to do a dot that's a lot of fun. You take the, the tip of your, the, the bottom side of your brush, dip, now she's picked yellow, she's picked green, and I picked orange. You can use multiple colors to make your shirt. But we've only picked out one color for this project today. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to dip my brush in the orange and watch what happens. I can make dots. Just like that. See how simple that is? You can do it that way. Or if you want a bigger dot, just take your brush and just do some bigger dots like this. Just like that. Now, what if you want some stripes? You can do stripes too. I'm gonna to put, I'm gonna take my orange and I might want to do some stripes that go like this. So you can do that. And you might want to have to go over it a couple of times for the color to show through, but do that. I'm gonna put two stripes over here to show you just how to do stripes. And then I might want to do what? Stripes this way. But you want to go around your neck like that. And then maybe here do your stripes and then maybe over here you can go straight across. 
So these are different ways that you can do, do your shirt. Anything that you want is up to you. So let me see y'all do that also. At home, if you want to use different colors, you can use different colors also. I want to make sure this goes way down here. Just like that. I want my colors to show up. I want to go all the way down to the shirt. There. I'm making me a crazy shirt. That's okay. Just little dots. Shirt turned out. Just gonna go over a couple of lines just to get a small color. And after it dries later, you might want to, uh, after it dries more, you might want to add more paint, make it brighter. It's just like painting at home. Sometimes your paints just don't show up right away. You have to paint again for the second layer of paint. It's just kind of like this with my paints. design your shirt or your blouse or your dress just the way you want it. And then the skin tone that we made up that looks kind of gold, I added it 
to make her color. You only need a little bit because it's just that circle, so you don't make a whole lot of that. So we did that. That is her color. You can't see it. Let me put it right here. And that's pretty much like her color. And then Zoe's, we had brown, and she added a black to it, and it gave it her eye color. And then I did mine green. I have, my eyes are kind of hazily green, so I put, I did a little, um, kind of a, hey, that's probably still too bright, but that'll work for today. And you can have purple eyes, green eyes, whatever, brown eyes, yellow eyes, whatever color you want. But if you want to kind of get it the way you want it, look at the paints you have and just kind of mix a little bit of this and that to see if you get the right eye color. So the first thing we're going to do is our eyes, and we're going to take our smallest brush. You can use this size brush or this size brush to do your eyes, but it's important you watch what I do. And I'm going to see my outline. Now some of y'all might be uh, covered over. See how Joy has some hers a little bit colored over, and uh, Zoe's is a little color covered over. That's okay because we'll make that bigger in a little bit. So, I'm going to take my color of my eye, you need a little bit, and I'm just going to trace around that black, just like that. A little bit of a hole, just like that. I probably should have probably added more yellow to this, but I think this will be just fine. I'm going to go all the way to the edge, and if you need to go past this, this eye part right here to get that little half, that little circle, you can do that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our black and we're gonna outline our eye. Remember the smile we made? We're gonna use black because that'll bring out your eyes, even though you wanna make sure you have a fine point brush to do that. And I'm gonna start at this corner and I'm gonna go up and make a rainbow color, shape, and then I'm going to go to the other side. Let's see if I can get this right-handed. Go here. Oh, I can't do it. Go down. I'm going to outline that again. And then I'm going to do the happy face from here to here. Just like this. Right, y'all try that. And you want to go past your, you want the white, we're going to paint in some white for those that colored it up. Do it as painting up. And try to do just short, stroke, long strokes like this, though. Do it like this, watch me. Instead of, do it more like that if you can. Okay? Down 
now. Oh, and I'm cleaning that brushes real good because we're lucky. Okay, let's do the mouth first. That way it gives this time to dry a little bit better. Now, there are several things you can do about your mouth. I want a smiley face. And I'm going to take my, um, I like red, but you can dim yours down a little bit. And what I'm going to do, we did that straight line, and you can just make lips like that, okay? So I'm going to take mine, I want to see that line, I'm just going to take mine and do a smile, just like that. And I decided I want to give it some lips. I always like little, now that, if you just did a line for your lip, that, for your mouth, that's great. But I'm going to come down, just do a little loop like this. And let's say you want to teeth the shell like shh, like that. You can go in and put your teeth right here. And then I'm going to take this. And I'm going to do two little heart shapes just like that. Just like that. Fill that in. And I could have put teeth in here and go like that, but I didn't. I'm just going to shut it up just like this. lipstick today. We're going to take our white and we're going to add some white to our little cups. Because now we're going to work on that. Um, we're going to share our white. Let's put some white in here. We don't really need that much. Okay? Yeah, but you're just doing that. Yes. All right, now let me show you what you do with your eyes. All right, let's watch. Over here, I'll go to this side. Come down and hold. Just around the eye right here. Just around like that. Just like that. Be careful because I know that's okay. And I just want to get a small white. Light over here to show up. Just like that. You can do it beforehand, go all the way across, but you just got to fake it. There. You just got to let it dry. Yeah. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is the eyelids. And I'm going to take this brown eyelid because it's going to go a little bit over the eye. So as you know, your eyes are right there. They kind of go over that top part. So watch what I do. So let's watch what I do, okay? I'm going to take it. I'm going to go with a lighter color for me. And I'm just going to this is my eyelid. Take it and just go over just like that. Take this and just go right over just like that. Okay? So y'all do that. I think y'all can use a darker color. I'll go ahead and I'll use this big black. And you might have to go over you might have to go over this a couple of times just so your, your green doesn't show up. That's okay, you might let dry and then start filling in. Yeah. That's great. Something. Now, what we want to do is uh, do eyelashes. Now, us girls like long, beautiful eyelashes. Now, the back boy, boys, you might not want eyelashes, but what you could do is this. 
instead of doing eyelashes, you could just do some little, just, just like that, if you wanted to. And if you wanted, and then for doing eyelashes, I like to use black, but you can use any color you want. And so from here, this eyelash up, I'm just going to go up. And it's good to let that dry, but I'm just going to go forward just like that. Ooh, I made too big of an eyelash, but that's all right. And let's see. That's why it's important. To, that just shows you why you should let it dry, right? You can always go in and do your eyelashes last. That's great. Beautiful. It is beautiful, you're right. <laughs> okay. Now, final touches, except for um, the way we're going to add embellishments, is going to do our hair. Now, think about the color of your hair. Mine's kind of brown with some yellow in it. And think, look at the mirror and decide how your hair looks. And how it's shaped on your head. I've got some veins and it kind of, it's kind of puffy up here. I've got a part right here. It comes down over my ears. I have already mixed up Zoe and um, Joy's hair color. It's a dark brown. Now what I did is take the brown that we had and added some black to it and um, to get their hair color. Now girls, watch how I'm gonna do it because you wanna kind of think about how your hair shape is okay now i know that i have some hair up here so i'm going to use this brown but i'm going to go back up after it dries go back in with some yellow from my yellow my blonde highlights i'm going to take it and i've got some bangs so i'm going to just put some bangs in here like that and then i've got some hair you know on top so i'm going to take it just kind of go on top like this and I'll, as always, you might have to let it dry and add more. That's just the way it always is. And I'm gonna come down on my forehead a little bit. I cut my hair real short, so it's really short. So I'm gonna go behind my ears, just like that, and I'm gonna put some hair right here on my ear, just kind of make it feathery. Here's so I'm going to go behind it. Come down to the sides like that. And I'm going to might go up a little bit more.
Now, girls, when you finish your eyes, there's one little technique I want you to do. And guys, I want you to take the back of your small brush, dip it in the white, and you want to get your eyes some little highlights. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put a little dot here, and a little dot there, a little dot here, and a little dot like any kind of gives you that. And then, and thank you, I almost forgot, Joy. You want to add that black part of your eye right here. Yeah. You can't forget to do that. So that kind of makes your eye, doesn't it? Yeah. And they're not tiny dots, they are. Yeah. Yeah. That that you need one outline eye. That complete your look. No, it's just complete smell of the The glass is complete shape. It's wonderful you look. Really makes a difference, doesn't it? You know what? I've just thought about something. You can see how I can change things up. I'm going to go in and look at
We have had a great time today doing portraits, and y'all did an awesome job. Y'all are beautiful, and you're wonderfully, fearfully, and wonderfully made, and you're in God's image, and I love that. I've had a great time this last two weeks at Summertime Fun, and it's just been a great time painting with these artists. Y'all have done just a beautiful job. And to say goodbye today, I want these two girls to swirl around in their beautiful dresses they wore today to paint in. I'm real surprised that you didn't get any paint on y'all. That's pretty good. Y'all have a wonderfully blessed new year at school. I hope everything goes well with you and we'll be praying for your moms, your dads, grandmothers and granddaddies, the teachers. I'll be praying for you. Have a wonderfully blessed day. Out my arms and I'm scratching my nose. Scratching my nose.